Okay, here's one of my latest sabers. Uh, the grill is left over from some Tor Jedi sabers I made a while back. So I'm going to name this saber the Torminator. I know that's horrible, ain't it? But that's its name now. It has a petite crouton in there with a shattered point sound font. And this is an unlocked version, so before I ship it out, it'll probably have the light meat or dark meat and be locked has two red ring anti-vandal switches and I set up a custom uh, sequence for the blinking which there's only so much you can do with two LEDs has a red P4 for the main LED a five millimeter blue for the crystal chamber and let me go ahead and fire it up and it is very sensitive right now when you're not holding it in your hand the speaker is so loud the speaker vibrates and causes the sensors to go off which now I understand from watching everybody else's video why it happens okay here's a this party folks. custom kill key I made and I have the auto flashing on Here's the, what the saber looks like. And this slot right here, you will not see the crystal through it because that's where the all your wires go up for your switches and LEDs and the batteries. The battery's located, it's two 14500s right up under the switch section. The crystal's here, speaker's here, with a little resonance chamber I made, and a petite crouton is here. All right, I'll fire it up. And you can see your crystal right there. And there's the, you can see the sequence I put in the LEDs. Like I said, you only have two LEDs there, so there's only so much you can do. This has a nice feel to it. Easy reach of the power button. There's your lock up. And you can see the crystal real good. To access the SD card, you're going to take it loose right here. Just twist it loose and I have this sanded down enough so that it'll twist and your wires won't come, come loose. Well, they won't twist, I'm sorry. And there's access to your SD card right there. And that's it. That's the Torminator. Alright, thanks for looking.